One of the things that's so fascinating about the way we've developed a society and our civilization, uh, the, the human civilization recently, is that it's, be, it's becoming more and more cybernetic. There's more technology that's imbued into the social infrastructure of the way we live. And this is perhaps no more evident in the fact that we have everything from marriage databases to social networking sites. We have, as a society, been very focused on trying to enhance our lives with this technology. And part of that is to describe the ways in which we live. We have augmented reality and virtual reality, but we don't have a whole lot of understanding of ourselves and our bodies and our personalities and how we want to function in the world. And so we haven't done a very good job of putting into the technology descriptions of who we are and who we, who we want to attract and how we want to live. And because sexuality is perhaps not only just the most universal topic, but also one that connects to so many other areas of our lives, sexuality is perhaps paradoxically the worst uh, area that has been described by technology. Um, a very common example is the Facebook gender uh, drop-down menu, where people on Facebook can list their sums themselves as male or female, but neither of those options are appropriate for a large grouping of people. Moreover, male and female are sexuality terms, they're not gender identities. So the Facebook form field is wrong on numerous counts. And it's funny because, you know, when your laptop screen can display millions of colors, why can the Facebook system only recognize people as one of two binary sets of, 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 of gender? Um, in point of fact, of course, gender is not the same as sex, and it's these words that we use to describe ourselves that not only teach the technology about who we are, but allow us to actually create more infrastructure that is more serving of ourselves and our humanity as opposed to the other way around. Mm -hmm.